People with diabetes have statistically an increased risk to develop dementia when they get older. However, the majority of people with diabetes will not develop dementia. There are differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. With type 2 diabetes, which is the more common form in older people, uh, having a higher risk to develop dementia compared to type 1. For people who do not have diabetes, the risk of developing dementia is about 10% and for people with type 2 diabetes, the risk is about 20%. As a person with diabetes, you may notice some signs that you're concerned about, such as you're losing weight or you're noticing that your blood glucose levels are not as well managed as they used to be or that you're forgetting to do certain tasks, or you're feeling overwhelmed with certain tasks. The first symptoms of dementia can be very subtle and very often they look similar to age-related changes to memory function. So it could be just be a bit more forgetful, needing more the help of a diary. But usually this tends then to progress and so often it's friends uh, and family members who notice changes. My father um, would say to me that your mother forgot to do something today or she put something in the wrong place or um, she just seems a bit confused. I would go to her house and prepare the meal there. Then I would say to her, Mum, this is for lunchtime. Then when I used to go over in the morning to see whether she had taken the tablets, um, the food was in, was in the fridge. Yeah, she didn't realise that she had to, to, to eat it. And so it's very helpful for the person who's concerned about their memory to talk to their loved ones. Um, that way uh, dementia can be diagnosed much earlier, which is much better for the treatment later on. The recommendation is if a person is concerned about changing memory function, to first talk to their general practitioner. And then the general practitioner usually will assess the memory with a memory test, uh, obviously assess general health as well and then decide whether it's necessary to refer the person to a specialist. Dementia and the symptoms of dementia are clearly a, a medical condition. It's not part of normal ageing. When you know what you're dealing with, then you can actually put some things in place. You can plan for the future. Uh, you can talk with your doctors about the right care treatment, so maybe about medications if that's available. And also you can talk with your family about um, how they can best support you. Some of the things that you can do to reduce your risk of developing dementia is keeping your blood glucose levels within the recommended range, keep your blood pressure and cholesterol within the recommended range, take all your prescribed medicines, eat nutritious foods, eat at regular intervals, maintain a healthy weight and keep physically active. Other healthy lifestyle choices include not smoking, not drinking to excess, and staying physically and mentally active. I try and keep busy with mum. I try and keep her active. I try and keep her socialised with the community. And um, I try and get her involved. Some people with diabetes are at risk of hypoglycemia, commonly known as a hypo. Hypos have been linked to a higher risk of dementia, which is another reason why it is important to avoid hypos and to keep blood glucose levels within the target range. If you have a risk of hypos, let people around you know the signs and symptoms you get when you have a hypo and what they can do to help you if this happens. Keeping a diary of your blood glucose levels can be helpful for tracking changes over time. Being well informed about diabetes and dementia can help you prevent and manage health problems. If you are diagnosed with dementia, your medicines and blood glucose levels should be reviewed by your doctor. A simplified medicine routine and different blood glucose targets may be appropriate. If the memory problems or the cognitive problems are mild, the person with diabetes might still be absolutely independent and doing very well to manage their diabetes. However, when the symptoms become worse and progress, 
There might be some activities of their diabetes management friends and family members have to help with or take over for them. We had the district nurse coming over to administer the tablets. The team that came in asked us whether uh, we could do it on our own or whether we would need the nurse to come over and we opted for the nurse to come over in the mornings. Uh, once a fortnight I get respite from the council. It's important as a carer to look after yourself because we give so much mentally and physically and I suppose it's understanding when the stress signs are getting too much and possibly saying I need some help. We have a counselling service that is available for the person with the diagnosis, for their family members and carers. And we can see people in family groups or individuals as well. Receiving a diagnosis of dementia is obviously a very challenging time for a person with dementia and the family. But it's important to keep in mind that once they come to this point, they can receive lots of additional support and help uh, in the community via the doctor and via Alzheimer's Australia Vic. It also helps then to plan for the future and to understand the symptoms better.